today we will discuss about a topic that's been causing quite a stir among Windows users. Those mysterious unknown account SIDs that can sometimes leave people feeling a bit uneasy. I first came across them myself during a routine check of my C drive and I know many of you have questions like if someone has hacked into your computer and so on. Stick around as we unravel the mystery behind them. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated on our latest content. First, let's talk about what SIDs actually are. Think of SIDs like the Unix UIDs, but for Windows. They're crucial for identifying users, accounts, and groups, and they help decide who has access to what. For example, let's say Alice creates a user account on her Windows PC. Windows gives this account a unique SID to keep track of it. Even if Alice decides to change her account name to Alice B, Jeff, or anything else, that original SID remains the same. It's like a permanent ID card that never changes, no matter what name she uses. When you see an unknown account SID, these are SIDs that do not resolve to friendly names. It usually means that Windows is referencing a security identifier that no longer has an associated user, account, or group. Account unknown might appear in various places. They often show up when user accounts are deleted and also could be because of corrupted profile. App capability SIDs. These SIDs are used to define what an application can do. They are part of Windows security model to ensure that applications have only the permissions they need. For example, an application might need access to your location, camera, or other hardware and system resources. If you encounter them, it's a good idea to review the permissions associated with these SIDs. Copy and paste the unknown SID that you are suspicious about from advanced security settings of the folder or drive. Then paste it into Notepad. To verify if this unknown SID exists in the system, we will first check it from Registry Editor and also check in our user accounts. These unknown account SIDs are listed in the following registry key. If this unknown SID shows up in Registry Editor Search, then you probably should stop worrying. Microsoft provides the following warning about account unknown SIDs. Do not delete capability SIDs from either the registry or file system permissions. Removing a capability SID from file system permissions or registry permissions may cause a feature or application to function incorrectly. After you remove any of these, you cannot use the Windows user interface to add it back. How to find all users SID on computer? It is pretty simple using command prompt. Just open command prompt by searching for CMD in the start menu. Once it's open, type the following command WMI C space user account space get space name comma SID. Press enter and you'll see a list of user accounts along with their corresponding SIDs. It's that easy. So if there is any orphaned user accounts on the system, they will show up here. This usually happens if you upgrade Windows 11 from Windows 10, then there's probably a chance this unknown account exists as the older account. So you can just delete it. To do that, go to the control panel, click on user accounts, click on manage other account, click on the account which you want to delete, click on delete the files. Click on delete the account. Here we will try to delete this account unknown for you. So we can test if the computer gets brick or not. 
we will go to security tab and then click on edit of our root c drive then we will click on remove and then ok this will give you warning that this procedure might malfunction your windows pc we will proceed by clicking yes we will restart our pc after restarting the pc we went back into our root c drive and found out that the account unknown was back again. This means that this account is required for Windows 11 to function properly. Feel free to ask in the comment section. We will be back with another video. Until then, see you next time.